hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use mailchimp to send bulk emails so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here i'm on mailchimp and over here we can quickly sign up and get started so the sign up process is very simple and it's absolutely free as well so simply click on the sign up button over here and you are good to go then over here you just simply have to enter in your email address your username and your password and you are good to go click on sign up and once you have done that, they're going to ask you to check your email address to, you know, verify your account. So I'm using a temporary email. So over here, here is the activation email from MailChimp. I'm just simply going to, you know, verify it over here, activate account. And it's going to open up in another tab. Now we can go ahead and move on and start setting up our account. And then I'm going to show you how you can send bulk emails. So I'm not a robot. Let me clear the recapture real quick. And then it's going to ask you to choose and, you know, package or plan that you can choose so over here we have four plans the premium the standard the essential and the free the premium is well 300 dollars per month and uh, you know this is annually and the standard is 17 dollars a month with 500 contacts and essential is 11 dollars a month with also 500 contacts and uh, if you choose these plans they're going to give you these contacts but if you go with the free plan you just simply get 2000 contact maximum you get the maximum capacity you don't get the contact so it all depends on you so for now i'm just simply going to click on next and continue with the free account you can go ahead and sign up and use the other accounts if you want next you just simply have to fill out this form first name last name business email you know your business name website url and all that which is optional then just simply click on continue then you just simply have to input your address over here no, they're going to ask you do you have any contacts no i don't have any contacts as of yet click on continue what do you sell products or services i'm going to choose product over here i'm going to click on continue oh i forgot okay so another business is website or e-commerce i'm going to click on continue and no i don't want any of these um, messages mails from mailchimp so if you want these emails you can click these box and click on continue but i don't want any of them so i'm going to click on continue all right, then it's going to take you over here onto the dashboard where you're going to go ahead and create your email list, right? So this is how it looks like right here. This is going to be your dashboard. And over here on the left side, you have a bunch of different options. So you have create, you have audience, you have campaigns, automations, website, and all of that, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the audience. And over here, you will have all of your contacts. And over here, you're going to have to add all of your contacts in order to, you know, send your email to these contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, some context. I'm going to add my own emails over here, subscribe to myself, and then we are good to go. I'm going to click on continue on copy paste. And over here, we have a bunch of different ones. So over here, we're just simply going to enter in the email address, first name, last name, and address, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and add myself, and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, I added four contacts. These are like the temporary emails, the disposable emails, and I'm just simply going to click on continue to organize them. And now over here, select the status. So they're subscribed. Yep. Update any existing contacts. Click on continue. Click on tags. And over here, we're going to search for different tags, right? So I don't really want much tags, but you can go ahead and do them over here. And then we have some labels. So email address over here, you know, you select your email address and you're good to go. So these are going to be the labels that we need. And then we just simply click on finalize import and boom, we are good to go. So now we just complete the import section now we are good to go so now we have our contact list now we can go ahead and start you know creating a campaign so if you click on start a campaign over here we can go ahead and start our email campaign and start sending out emails to all of our contacts and so over here this is how it's going to look like so over here you're going to be you know creating an email so i'm going to edit the name over here and i'm going to call it demo over here and i'm going to click on save there we go no now we just add recipients so we have five recipients which have added over here now over here we select from so over here we just enter in our name and our email address from this email address we're going to click on save okay so let me just change the email address for myself over here I enter in my other email address and then we just simply click on save and now we just enter in our subject what it's about right so let's go ahead and add a subject over here we'll say new shoes available or something like that so we're going to enter in shoes and then over here we need to add in a preview text so that people can see what it's about i'm just going to write we have a new line of sneakers that are game changer over here 
so we're gonna add that we have a new line of sneakers that are game changers i'm gonna click on save and now we are good to go now we just simply design the email so we click on design email and we select the classic builder or the new beta builder so we're gonna go with the classic one because i feel like it's much more easier to use i mean both of the new builder and the uh, classic builder are easy to use but uh you know the new one is still in beta so i don't know if there are any glitches or anything so i'm just simply going to stick with the classic one so over here we have a bunch of different options right so we have some templates some pre-made templates over here and then we have the basic templates these are basically called the blank templates so the layouts are going to be like this you know pretty simple with some icon on some preview text and then the product like this one but i'm simply going to choose this one right here i feel like this is pretty simple pretty nice i'm going to choose sell products over here i'm going to click on this email and we are good to go wait for it to load up and once it's loaded up we are good to go all right so this is how it looks like so over here you're going to enter in your logo showcasing your product here is going to be your title then your product then the feature of this product then you have a couple of more ones so pretty simple right i feel like this is pretty decent you won't have to change anything you just have to upload some things right so over here you just simply have to you know add in your image so if you click over here you know you click on replace image over here then you can go ahead and replace your image you can upload your own image or you can just choose one from the other profile so i'm gonna go ahead and upload a file over here you know of our product let me see maybe like a shoot oh, yeah i think this would look pretty cool so i'm going to click on this image right here and then we are good to go and then i'm just simply going to upload it the one that i downloaded recently here we go this is it upload that here we go now it's begun so once it's uploaded we are good to go there we go i think it's uploaded and give it a couple of seconds for it to load up over here as well here we go so this is how it looks like right pretty simple pretty easy now you can go ahead and change these texts over here to simply click over here and then you know you can go ahead and edit it out so over here you can go ahead and change the text you can change the fonts over here you have your uh, you know bold underline you have links merge tags you have all of these options that you can use to create a pretty decent looking uh, you know email and once you've done that just simply click on save and close over here and we'll click on continue and then we are good to go okay so we actually need to you know edit all of it out so let me just go ahead and edit this out so i'm going to upload my logo over here i'm going to change this title over here i'm going to change these images as well so it's going to go ahead and do that and i'll catch you guys in a second so there you go i've added you know the logo the title the image and i changed the text as well but i deleted the bottom two over here so which is i think is pretty cool so there you go so now once it's done we'll just simply click on continue and now we are good to go so there we go our email has been created and our campaign also begin so next all you need to do is just send this email out to everyone but i think for that you're gonna need to upgrade your account right so but let's go ahead and test it out shall we so now we just simply click on send over here send now and now this email is going to be sent to these five people over here all right so as you can see demo is on its way to five subscribers from the audience so let's go ahead and take a look over here let me refresh it real quick let me refresh this one as well refresh and refresh so over here we should get the email as of right now so where is it so i don't think it went through but you know it still worked and let me just see over here but you know you generally get the idea right so you just add in your audience create a template and then send in your contact so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye